So we're picking solvents to dissolve. Uh, first of all, isopropyl alcohol. Now, isopropyl alcohol is polar and is capable of H bonding. So our appropriate solvents are going to be water, methanol, ethanol, and acetone to a late acetone as well. Now, the interactions that each of these solvents are going to have are going to be H bonding and dipole-dipole interactions. All of these solvents are polar. All these solvents, um, so acetone is the only one that doesn't have a, a hydrogen available for H bonding, but this oxygen can be an H bond acceptor. So uh, you could have this kind of interaction here. Okay, so any of these solvents are going to be miscible with isopropyl alcohol. E is sodium chloride. So the interactions between the solvent and solute here are going to be ion dipole, which means we're looking for really water is going to be by far the best solvent. Um, to a lesser degree, methanol and ethanol will dissolve this a little tiny bit, but nowhere near as much as water. So ethanol and methanol do have dipoles, and that's why they can do ion dipole but water is going to be the best. Vegetable oil kind of just looks like this. It's just long, long uh, alkyl chains with unsaturations. So the only forces here are going to be dispersion. And so the appropriate solvents for this are going to be hexane, acetone a little bit. Acetone is so sort of polar, but also can interact with uh, dispersion forces. Toluene is going to be good. And carbon tetrachloride as well. And ether to a lesser degree as well. So anything that's not polar is going to be just fine with vegetable oil. And KNO3 is going to be exactly the same as, as sodium chloride, where you have water, and then this is much better than methanol and ethanol.